Well, as you can see, we're on the site of Maryland Healthcare. This is a five and a half acre site and we're building an 80 bed single storey specialist care facility. If you look around me, you can see the work is progressing very well. A lot is happening. We're definitely on track for opening in June 2017. When we were looking at the design, we spent many years researching studies by international consultants who are experts in the field of dementia and specialist mental health. So Maryland is based on that ethos and it is built not only to existing standards but it will exceed these standards and it's actually fit for purpose for years to come. We actually have incorporated larger rooms, single rooms, in four 20 bedded self-contained units. So each resident will have their own individual room, their own ensuite facility. Mayland Healthcare is innovative because we are taking care at the next level. What we want to look at is individualised person-centred care for residents. We'll be creating a situation where they'll have rehabilitation and therapy and where possible we want to encourage residents to live as full and independent life as possible. It's so important because there's more and more pressure in healthcare services today and every day and going forward as our population ages. So I think it's uh, important with this benchmark facility that Maryland are providing will alleviate some of those pressures. Also because we're creating 140 full and part-time jobs in the local community. This is for registered nurses, all grades of nurses, healthcare assistants, for support workers, domestics, catering staff and administration staff. Maryland Healthcare are very grateful for the support we have received from Ulster Bank. This has continued throughout developing the project and going forward, particularly under the direction of Kenton Hillman. His staff have helped us, they're very experienced in knowledge of healthcare in Northern Ireland and we're delighted to work with them now and continue to work with them in the future.